um, water leaves and steamer get um, control of the building. Um, public Works Supervisor Craycraft is also shorted. And I can only see some of these products as such. Well, it's short and sweet. He's excited about it. Yeah, but like, it would be meant It would be very beneficial to the water department since we are done with the wastewater treatment plant, basically. Yeah. Yeah, basically that, Carl's working out two yeah. Fonex boxes down there. He's got all his parts in this, you know, those little Fonex boxes. I, I think it'd be a great deal if we could work something out. Mm -hmm. um, plus we could keep some of our equipment in there out of the weather and sunlight and on and on and so forth. So Yeah, make a great difference for the water. Good. Yeah. This, this. this will be proposed in the in the lease. As far as the city water department using the building. Yes. And Robinson Mine will still have full access yes. to the to the mine. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's that's simple and perfect. Yeah. Perfect. That's simple. Very good. We have a motion on the floor. Okay, to uh, move forward with the uh, proposed lease agreement. We have a second. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Public comment, please. No public comment. Move on to item number two. Discussion for possible action. Control to send letter to the Robinson Van Mines Company requesting they present the escrow agreement modification proposal at the July 23rd, 2020 East City Council meeting. Yeah, I put this on here. Um, John and I have been meeting with the mine quite a bit over the last couple of years. And I just felt that with the COVID and stuff, we kind of quit meeting as much. And we just had a lot of things in the works that I'm afraid might fall through the cracks or we might forget about. Um, the mine did send a response letter back saying they're collecting some data and they need some more time, which I do agree with. They've done a great job of collecting data and, and um, doing a, a water table for us for sure. So I, I don't think we need an update on that, but I still kind of would like to move forward with some kind of letter because we did, the city of Ely sent them a lot of data from um, Rural Nevada Water, a third party, which is facts of numbers, and I would kind of like to get their take on that because there is a lot there on the power cost, uh, maintenance of the wells cost, and we have other things we can work on in the meantime, I feel, why they're still collecting data. I don't know how Fred feels about that, but I, I just don't want a lot of things to get put on the wayside. Yeah, I concur with Kurt. Um, you know, I, I think we need to move forward, do our due diligence. I know the mines do their due diligence. You know, but uh, you know, a, you know, a positive response would be great. A negative response would be another thing to, to deal with, but no response is not acceptable. And I think that's kind of where we're at. And uh, the third party is an independent party. Um, it's unwavered by any of our decisions. So there needs to be some clarifications or some updates to it or some modifications to it, then we need to move forward. But no action is not acceptable. Second. Well, we have a motion and a second on the floor. Do you have anything you want to say, Frederick? Right, right. Very good. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, number four. Councilman Alder, special for possible action, approval of a new format to be used by the water sewer landfill department for future monthly reporting. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The idea behind this is, you know, the reports are pretty generic at this time. The same thing for a long day. And we found out on the, on the general fund side or the other side, we need a little more information. What that does is it enlightens not only the council members, but the staff on issues that are happening in the field. We had one, for example, in the general fund. It wasn't even in the budget, but an issue started last year. It's an ongoing issue that nobody knew about it. All of a sudden, it's like, wow, what are we going to do? So, for example, uh, the uh, landfill report, Thomas does a very well job on that, a pretty good job on that. He lives when he has equipment down 
But if you take the, and for example, the sewer department thing, they have digs. I'd like to see a little more information. What type of digs are these? Are they water line dig? Are they put in a meter pit? For example, uh, sewer body. I know there are some trouble sewers that we have to go through there. So, if, for example, let's just say Fall Street Murray was a, a monthly clean up the sewer. When does it come a time we need to replace the sewer line? Is it plugged on the city side or is it ongoing taking the roots out? I know the one between 8th and 9th Street, there, that, that's a bi monthly sewer riding job. On the wells, I'm glad Frederick brought up the tariff well wasn't mentioned on this report. We need to know as a council and the board and the staff on the status of that, whether it was overlooked or not, I don't know. Uh, down the miscellaneous, I'd like to see something on non payment shut offs. How many of those are we doing? It gives a more of a feel of, of, of what our business is, people not paying their bills, and it takes time to do these shut offs. Just uh, come up with a quantity. Uh, again, there's no, nothing about any equipment issue Carl may be having with his, with his uh, equipment. Gives us a heads up, you know, the back goes acting up, etc. And most importantly, we haven't, I haven't at least seen a report from the wastewater treatment plant consultant on an ongoing thing. We had an issue out there by asked the height of the pump station. We were cleaning it. I don't know how that ever turned out. We need to have him give us a, a monthly report. We just need to get a better feel on the pulse of it. You guys are all busy, I'm busy. You can trade fast busy, but if people need to relay this information, and, you know, I don't want to go into a lot of detail on it, but we just need to probably do our business so more people are aware of it. Because they get doing it day in, day out, it doesn't seem a big deal to them, but it could financially get into a big deal to the city. So I, uh, if you have any ideas, anything you want to see in these reports, I recommend relaying them to the city clerk, Jennifer. We sent some work for the general fund account and that went went along real well. Otherwise I will throw my ideas on the paper here too. Is the software able to pull these reports? Is that currently in place or would this be an upgrade to the system? No, I, I think for example, non payment, that's a manual manual thing to do. Kevin Robert, you sent out thirty two non payment shutoff letters. Okay, so see <laughs> Okay, so for example right there. To the, the, the board note you sent out there? Yeah, I, I can add that, and, and I really appreciate your work on this format because there's a lot of pertinent, as you said, budget information. Um, I think it will also enhance coordination between the department needs and public work supervisor Craig Craft and the treasurer with these different departments as far as both sides understanding the information better. Um, and I just wanted to note on water operator McDonald's. Um, invoice. The reason I included his invoice is because he had a lot of detail in those invoices of what he did when he came out or, or if he's working remotely. So as far as his report, I'm just going to include his invoice going forward. Okay, that would be fine. For yeah. example, you read um, whatever the consultant's name is. He mentioned that a motor was probably hooked up incorrectly. Mm -hmm. That caused a failure. Whose responsibility was that? You know, I mean, that's just an example. You know, unless you read it, which probably a lot of us have done better kind of do the research stuff like that. It's just an example. But thanks for your input. There. We just need to add more into into it, and I don't expect Carl to do a lot more of it because he's in the in the ditches. But we need to, you know, the, and I have a, we're not a big issue on this, but we're always out there rotting sewers over and over. I know the one between eight and nine that's like twelve feet. When does it come a time to get a grant to replace the sewer line? Sure, it's an inconvenience, but we got to get, you know, I, I remember a CDBG project was approved in the city of Virginia City. They were dumping their sewer into mine shafts for how many years? So, anyway, that's why I brought this up. So, thank you for the time. Any questions? Yeah, I do. Uh, you know what? I, I, I don't disagree with you uh, at all. Uh, one thing that I might make a suggestion is maybe uh, get with uh, the different departments or have Mike get with them and see if they have any recommendations that they can put on this too that would be beneficial to them so they don't have to write all the letters and things of that nature, okay? One other item I think would be important too is to have the number of employees that you have working at the present time in each one of the departments. I know sometimes you have an accident now from three employees you're going to two, from 
five to down to three, and that has a direct relationship to the performance. Exactly. That's a good point. So I and think we already know that power. So mm -hmm. thank you, John. The other questions for I move on Okay. We have a new format. Just a discussion of possible action. We have a motion. I'll second. The motion, the second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Very good, Jim. Thank you for your time. Public comment? If you had any backup material, I didn't get it in my packet, and I just checked the uh, public file. It's nothing in there, so I don't know what uh, the recommendations were. If you had a hard copy. Mr. Chadwick, it is in the packet. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure that the uh, What's it look like? Yeah. I think it's going to be expanded just a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. Yeah. About it. Is it just a rough draft? No, I, I, you know, I, I think it takes a little bit of a burden off of some of the department heads. And well, it expands communication sure. to everyone. Yeah. I know our equipment is uh, giving up in years. Oh, yes, yeah. sir. In fact, I think we might call it some of the all right, George, did you have anything other than that? On that particular item, no. Okay, Thank you. Very good. We're going to move on to uh, city park reports, board members. None. None? None. 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 Okay, the only comment I would have is uh, maybe next, uh, next meeting we put on the agenda to get a, a uh, vice chairman. Yes, and that's yeah. uh, I think uh, we're definitely near that since I am always late. Councilman <laughs> <laughs> Carson. No report. No report. No report supervisor. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing different. Okay. City water operator, we have no reports. Uh, Sewer water feeder, we have no one. That's what we know at all, including the past. City clerk. I don't have anything of my own, but I did receive a text from the engineer Auburn this morning. He wasn't able to make it back from out of town, um, but um, he had a family um, issue to leave the town for. But he wanted me to report that they've um, handed out packets to six contractors on the Murray Street sewer upgrade project. As you know, we were awarded phase one and two, so that's exciting. That's a big project. And he also, Do we know when that is? The bid closes on the 20th. Okay. It, 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 um, contractors were able to pick up packets on June 29th. So, so that's ongoing right now. And then um, he also notes that <laughs> we're expecting delivery of the terrace pump and motor within the next week or so. And he apologized for being out and able to make Few payments, so we're able to release some of the liens. It's a slow process, but we are getting more contact than previously. Um, we finished depositions for the uh, lawsuit with Ely Disposal two weeks ago, and that's just slowly rolling along as every lawsuit is. And then my last report is not a legal report, but I will be resigning on August 20th. You are resigning on August 20th? Yes. Where are you going? Washington, D.C. Oh, wow. Just, uh, uh, just a little. Just a little, yeah. A little jump across. Yeah. So I guess we're going to go back and advertise again? You'll get yes. Yes, right? yes, yes. And I've been working with uh, Jeanette and Jennifer about advertising. The following program is sponsored by The Greek, Ely's Radio Shack dealer at 570 Altman in downtown Ely. 
and brought to you as a public service by Georgetown Media in Ely, Nevada. Ely Municipal Utility Board Meeting, July 9th, 2020. $1,251.67. How does that add up? 
How does that add up? You people need to get your knees off my neck. If you don't have anybody that knows how to make any proper corrections, you need to find somebody. I was, I was given a, a billing with that letter from the mayor, the so-called corrections. Mr. Chairman, I can't read these. Can you read these? I can't. When Mr. Remich came before the city council, he got a full-blown uh, visible format. I want the same courtesy. Jim Walker, with Able Lab, after my private citizen. The last council meeting, I objected to the mayor about Mr. Chatches using that knee on my throat comment. I find it very, very offensive. It should not be brought up. Look what it's caused in this country, that phrase. Please do not allow him to use that again. It's right there in, in the uh, rules of open meeting law. It's offensive. Please restrain him from using that phrase. Thank you. Get your knee off my neck and I'll so stop. Another, so another, Any other public comment? Hearing none, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to move on to the uh, consent agenda. These items may be approved in one motion by the board. That's the first action of business under the discussion of possible action items. Approval of the consent agenda approves each of these items. Board members may remove any item from the consent agenda notifying the board chairman. I have a motion to approve the consent agenda 3A-1 minutes. I move. Uh, June 11, 2020. We have a motion on the floor. We have a second. I'll second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Also, in conjunction with that, uh, I'm going to remove item number three. Removal item three due to clarification of Great Basin. The Columbia utilities were involved in the South Side of the Utility Board's scope of action. Old business. Board member Rob Sambata. Public comment. No public comment. We'll move on to old business. Uh, Rob Sambata, Mines Company. Representative discuss with possible action to update the utility board on the Rob Sambata Development Group Pit uh, Development and Water Mitigation Efforts within the City of Ely. Frederick. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning, my name is Frederick Pate. I'm the environmental manager for Robinson Mine. We are we continue to uh, develop the root pit and continue to dewater to help us um, mine the root pit. We are dewatering about 10,000 gallons uh, per minute. Um, 1,683 of that goes to the city of Ely uh, from 70. About 3,000 is going to Leasing Creek, and the rest is sent to the mill as part of our process. We have been working uh, with Basin to uh, make sure that the terrace well is up and running. We recently completed the coordination study, which is electrical in nature, to make sure that everything is in place. We are currently moving for the pump and the motor. My understanding is that that will uh, show up sometime next week, but that was what the vendor promised us. That has already been paid for, and as soon as that arrives, we will have bought one year on site uh, to install the pump and model in the terrace well and any other accessories that need to go down uh, in that well. So that's all the update I have for uh, Robinson with regards to um, water mitigation efforts and power development. Very good, Frederick. Any questions for Frederick? Yes, um, once the terrace well is up and running, what kind of projections of gallons per minute are you thinking that would be capable of? Somewhere around 500, uh, uh, yeah, between 500, 600 gallons per minute. That was what it was um, sized, the pump was sized for. So that's what we are hopefully we should be getting for it. Then I guess. With six being down, do we have some kind of backup or emergency plan in case seven does go down too? Yes. We, so we have a pump and a motor that can be put in 7D in case it goes down based on the pump and the motor. Now, we have looked at a couple of things, including drilling a new well in the area of 6D to replace it or deepening 7D 
so that we'll be able to have more head and be able to form the more than the 1600 is pumping up. But our body has the capability of pumping up to 3,000, 3,000, 500 gallons per minute. So all that is being looked at, which will be the best way to be able to uh, meet that 3,000 requirement. We have ordered a new pump for 70, other than the uh, spare that is sitting there, that will pump 1,500 gallons per minute uh, constantly. And if we do that, then we have to complement that with a well from uh, the Olympia wells that we have as well. So those are things that are being considered. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. So perfect. If, if you're looking well, mm -hmm. this well would be in conjunction with 70 pumping? That is correct. And when is, when is that decision? So we are going to our budget season uh, in August, and so that we've done that evaluation already. We looked at seven other different ways by which we can um, provide water to the city, and that is one of them is really the water. So we'll finalize that sometime in August when we go to our budget season. The other thing we should remember is that if we want more springs to come back quicker, then we keep the 70 and the 1500 gallons per minute. But if we add additional well and we start pumping 3,000 gallons per minute, then that was going to delay, further delay the time of our seven uh, for more springs coming back. Because now you are pumping 3,000 instead of the 1,500 is pumping right now. So hopefully when we sit down and talk about mediation for the city, that could be some of the things we can discuss and decide which way the city wants to go. Do we want 3,000? And then delay more springs coming back, or do we want to keep the 1570 and supplement it with the uh, wells we have, in, the alluvial wells we have in the city? So, I mean, that's something that we can all discuss and come to a conclusion. That's really good. I think we always already discussed that, didn't we, in our last meeting with you guys? I remember, and the decision was we want to keep the 1500 and so, and then supplement it with, with, with what we have in the but we, we went back and looked at uh, developing 6P also. So we're well, building a pilot wall in 6P or deepening uh, 7 feet. So those are some of the options we looked at. But yeah, that decision was made by the city that they wanted to be under. Hence, the ordering of the, uh, the $1,500 per minute pump. We got a pump that is in now, is able to do up to 3,500. So right now we are running a pump that is bigger from what the size for and paying more efficiency. So it's better to have a little form that would be 1,500, it's less electricity, and then we'll be able to provide a 1,500 that's Yeah, I mean, the new well will be based too, and with the location you drill it too. It will be somewhere, if, you, if we go drill, it should be somewhere around 60. Yeah. So all those items will be discussed with the city prior to the home of the city, right? Mm -hmm. Any other questions for Frederick? Thank you very much. Lovely comment, please. No public comment, we move on to item number one. Mayor Robertson, discussion for possible action. Recommendations to draft a 10-year uh, proposal for the building, owned by Robinson Nevada Mines Company, located at number one grade, the Spring Circle, allowing Robinson Nevada Mines Company access to all monitoring uh, points. This one up. So with this one, um, the previous item that had been tabled that was to um, um, recommend renewal of the lease that we have with the mine for uh, number one Murray Street, and there had been discussion between the mine and the city about utilize, having the city utilize it because I believe Frederick mentioned at the last meeting that they don't utilize the building a whole lot, a little bit here and there, but just they wanted to make sure they had monitoring points. So um, this is to draft a proposed, a proposed lease agreement to utilize the building instead of instead of either renewing the lease that we have in place or ending the lease completely and having, because the building, the fiscal building itself is property of the mine. The land is property, is the city's land, but the bu building is property of the mines. So that's where this um, item came up, is just the recommendation to draft the letter, a proposed lease in order for the city, I believe the water department to use that. And um, 
reaching out to some people I know and that might be interested as well. I, I want to help as much as I can before I leave. Thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you for the short <laughs> Very good. Uh, Saint Treasure. He's not here, and Jennifer reported for BJ. Very good. Let me call him. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I'll remind you of part of the problem we've got in regards to my problems as well as others in the building. On your uh, internal control, material weaknesses from your auditor dated uh, 2019 finding. As part of closing or finalizing the accounting records at year end, the city should determine that all balance sheet accounts have been properly reconciled and that all appropriate adjustments have been posted to the accounting records. During the audit, we noted that several balance sheets, balance sheet accounts across all the fields were not reconciled, resulting in the city proposing over 100 adjustments that needed to be made in order to correct the financials. The city does not have an effective process nor proper controls to ensure all significant accounts are reconciled or properly adjusted. The financial statements as originally provided prior to the adjustments were materially misstated in multiple areas across all funds. We've got to correct the problem. Mr. Chairman, uh, <coughs> I want to remind you that NRS forbids public employees and officials from having preference in buying or selling public property. I want to know where that 490 linear feet of 16 inch steel pipe is. If you're going to sell it, fine, but you need to account for it. This has been ongoing now for almost two years or longer. Mr. Chairman, I remind you that the city is yet to reimburse me for the expenditure that I incurred from carrying the sewer problem at 681 Parker. That was the city's responsibility. The interest of 2% a month is being assessed in addition to late fees. The city council voted to pay for an upgraded and larger sized water line to the tune of 60000 more or less for the property extending from Loves to the old charter school area. That was the responsibility of the developer, not the city. I remind you, NRS 268.512 to 268.568 states the city cannot assist a private business, and yet you guys are doing that. I pay monthly for that sewer service. Had the been, had the break been on my side, that's one thing. But the fog was on the city side. I paid to have that taken care of and I want my money back. That is the, today you owe me six thousand six hundred twenty-eight dollars and forty-eight cents. I need my money. Mr. Chair, in numerous uh, previous meeting, utility board city council, I have asked and I'm again asking if the city has brought back the utility building to the city hall. If you have not, you need to do that. <coughs> you have yet to correct billing errors for me and my family. You are misbilling me, and you have yet to give me credit for those years that you have overcharged me. I'm again requesting an itemized list of those billings for, proper, uh, for the properties that you have overcharged me and corrected, if any. The city needs to hire again a person with a bachelor's degree in accounting as required by city code. You're not doing that. That's part of your problem. I want to remind you, you have the fiduciary responsibility to the city and your favor. I'll be back. I need some answers, Mr. Chairman. And I want this thing resolved. Thank you. Thank you, George. Thank you, George. Uh, I think Jim did have one point uh, that he did bring up, George. And with all due respect to everybody, you know, hopefully that, uh, you know, slander is not acceptable. So. Get my billing taken care of, it all goes away. I'm not going to be treated like a second class citizen. I'm not going to tell you again. George, George Stoller. Okay. I move. Go <laughs> <laughs> okay. so This has been a Georgetown production, George Chatches reporting.
The following program is sponsored by the Greek, Ely's Radio Shack dealer at 570 Altman in downtown Ely, and brought to you as a public service by Georgetown Media in Ely, Nevada. The following video is of the one and a half million pound, 16 and a half foot diameter decommissioned reactor pressure vessel from the Southern California Edison San Onofre nuclear generating station that passed through Ely today.
This has been a Georgetown production. George Chatch is reporting.